Yesterday, discussion started about the future of Chicagoland Speedway from an article from Beyond the Flag and some further talk from the local news station, WJOL, and this could be a way to save the track. But more on all of that right after this. The summer is heating up, and so are the stoves with HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers you a ton of great and delicious food that is delivered straight to your door. What HelloFresh also does is help me accomplish my goals. They're fit and wholesome options I'm able to eat healthy while I'm training for my upcoming marathon this October. And on top of that, it saves me time on prep work, on going to the grocery store, all of that as well, so I can keep up with my normal work while not having to fall behind to get food. Here, I'm having some pork sausage rigatoni rosa, and I gotta tell you, it was really, really good. So to get your order, go to HelloFresh.com and use code ICEBERG16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com. Use code ICEBERG16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Now, back to the show. So yeah, based off of this, the Chicagoland Speedway could theoretically be part of the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. There are rumblings that NASCAR could race at Chicagoland Speedway next year. BeyondTheFlag.com is reporting that a race date is not out of the question. WJOL's racing guru, Mike Giuliamushi, I think I pronounced your name right, I apologize if I didn't, says it could happen. It looks like Phoenix is going to lose one of their two races and Chicagoland could slot into that position. The race could be August 13th, 2023. According to reporting by beyondtheflag.com, there has been fans outcries to have the track back after a string of great races there before it lost its races during the COVID-19 outbreak in 2020. So that's the proposed option. I will link the article down in the description. So I think what we should be asking ourselves right now is a pretty big yes or no question. Is this realistic? And part of it seems very realistic. Another part doesn't seem very realistic, to be honest. So let's go right into it. Chicagoland and the Joliet City government have both pushed for a NASCAR return. So on the ground alone of this, it does seem like something that could be real. Both have pushed really hard to bring NASCAR back, and it seems like they've had a lot of discussions in recent months. A lot of people came out really quickly to hush people about the track being shut down for good and torn down when some of the land around the speedway was sold by NASCAR, which I don't think would happen if the track didn't have some kind of future. So for the fact of that alone, the overarching story here could very well be realistic. All right. What else do we got? The drag strip and dirt track around the speedway have returned to full operation. That's really big too, because both of those shut down in 2020 during the COVID outbreak and seem to be about as dead as Chicagoland was at the time. But slowly but surely, they're bringing smaller series back and building up year over year. So it seems like it might be the same kind of plan overall, with NASCAR coming back to Chicagoland Speedway being the good granddaddy finale of them all. Now, what really makes me think this seems realistic is the fact that WJOL is a local Joliet news station. And for the most part, local news stations rarely report on pure speculation. There has to be some kind of verification process rather than that of different sources who might sensationalize things. They have no reason other than to tell the community of Joliet alone what's going on. They don't really need to care either way what the broader NASCAR fan base thinks of it because either way, if it's good or bad, they'll click on it. So. I do think that because this is one of the big sources, they probably did their research and they've also been the one to have done the most digging about this so far. So I would say that that is also realistic. Now, 
Where I question this is Chicagoland taking Phoenix Raceway's dates. Now, I am no big fan of Phoenix Raceway after what they've done since 2011 to the track. I personally think the former layout was better, and since then, they've only made it worse. But with that, I will say that the Phoenix Raceway as a facility has really built itself up over time. And when it comes to a facility in and of itself, the facility may deserve two dates comparatively to the rest of ISC's tracks that don't have two dates. It's been newly renovated. It hosts the championship race and draws a huge crowd for the championship race that is a sellout well before the race is even close on the NASCAR schedule. So on that right there, I don't think NASCAR would put all that money into it and ISC would put all that money into it just to kind of pawn it off after a few years. That doesn't seem like a very good plan. But I will say this. When it comes to crowd size, the March race at Phoenix by far had the smallest crowd of the West Coast Swing, which is not something you would see in years past. And when it comes to the West Coast Swing, it was the only one of those races that drew in less than 4 million viewers, which is a big litmus test for NASCAR to say, hey, this track isn't bringing people in either to the track or on TV. So I could see them thinking, hey, you know what? We need to get rid of this, try and get a track that would draw in more eyes, even if it's just a short-term splash deal. I could see that happening. Now, on the realistic front, August 13th, 2023 as a date, I think would work for it. Now, I'm someone who went from 2007 all the way till 2019 to the final race at Chicagoland. And I'm going to say this, summer dates for this track are a much, much better investment and idea than a spring date or a fall date. In Illinois, fall starts like a snap, just like that. But same goes for spring, where it's gonna be freezing, 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 and then really hot. So to do it in the summer when you know you're gonna have consistently warm weather, in my opinion, is a better move. It rains less in August than it does in June and July in Illinois. So again, another good move right there. And the crowd shows up when it's warmer as there's more of a party atmosphere that really has been missing from Chicagoland since they moved it into the fall. It would be the same weekend that Richmond currently is on this year, which means maybe Richmond gets moved on the schedule. Hey, maybe Michigan gets moved or Watkins Glen. The summer works either way, and you can move different races around that time of the year on different parts of the schedule, so Chicagoland really wouldn't be kicking someone too far off a date or making it bad for another track. And with it being right before the playoffs, it makes Chicagoland more important without trying to shove it into the playoffs and compete with the Chicago Bears and maybe even the Chicago Cubs if they're doing well. So it's a pretty good spot to have it overall. Now, there are a few intangibles I think we need to look at as well. And these come from someone, again, who has been at this track and learned a lot about this track over the years. Since being canceled for COVID in 2020, NASCAR fans overall have wanted Chicagoland back more than pretty much any other track. Really, I would say since 2020, because of the great finishes in 2018 and 2019, fans have almost started a movement. You see Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, people having hashtags. It's something that especially younger fans are pushing for. And you know what? Even though it won't draw in other younger fans, NASCAR needs to make its current young fans happy. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a move in that direction. Also, the next-gen car has been a car that kind of harkens back to the racing ideologies of the Gen 4 era. When it comes to tire fall-off, aero dependency and non-dependency, and good racing overall. It seems like a perfect fit for what NASCAR is today, which would really help and give some probably really good racing. I've said it before, city officials and especially local residents have spoken loudly on forums, online, in person, that they want this track back on the NASCAR schedule. They want NASCAR back and are going to support the Speedway, which I think having that grassroots approach to it will actually bring more racing fans in over time. 
The Surface is over two decades old, which is going to lend itself to good racing with the next-gen car, and the Joliet area is building up. This area will only become more valuable over time and bring more people in, even if it's just for working in warehouses and factories. So I think that being here may actually work in NASCAR's favor long term, when for a long time, this was in the middle of nowhere. Now, I'm going to give my little verdict here. Yeah, there's been some real talk about this since about the spring of 2021. Chicagoland never was dead, but it was on life support. And maybe right now it's getting moved from critical to a better condition. But I've said my piece enough at this point. I want to hear what you have to say. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you think the future of Chicagoland is bright? Let me know down below. While you're at it, leave a like in this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content, basically forever. And to all my channel members, thank you so much for your support. It's really helped me, especially these last couple weeks with a move. So thank you so much. And until next time, have a good one.